Hello everybody. Hi. My name is Darren. I'm Graham. And we've been to cinema to see a film that was probably an amazing film. <laughs> it was Wonder Woman. Oh yeah, Wonder Woman. It oh was yeah. Amazing, wasn't it, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Wonderbar. Tell us the story Wonder bra. of the wonderful woman. Don't mention bras. It makes it no. seem like we're thinking of tits because there's a woman as the main character. I didn't think of tits an awful lot through this film. We, uh, I well, did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I did the appropriate amount. Mm -hmm. For what the film was suggesting to, to think of them for. Which was zero. Exactly. Queer. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh <-huh. laughs> oh. Oh no. Uh, tell us the story of Wonder Woman. Well, the story. Yeah. 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 It's all, uh, well, the story of Wonder Woman is that Chris Pine crash lands and she goes and helps her Where kill... does he crash land? Give uh, us some details. Paradise. <laughs> Uh, you know, hidden... In hidden, Euro Disney. Hidden secret paradise in the Greek ocean or something? No, it was like... Eng was it the... Ch it was the channel. What channel? The channel, Which the English channel? channel. We've got five channels now. <laughs> yeah, uh, with soft core pornography on the fifth one. On Friday night. On a Friday night, nine o'clock. Yeah, be there, be square. Yeah. Uh, no, he, Chris Pine, is in the uh, First World War. Not the second. Which many might be led to believe. Such uh, as you. Check out. There's no Nazi memorabilia anywhere. Contrary to your reference to the Nazis afterwards. Yeah. Well, we all learn when we learn. So yeah, not every bad German is a Nazi. Sometimes they're just bad Germans. Exactly. Do you not remember when we went to that Holocaust thing? And even the Nazis were bad Germans, according to that guy that was. I know. We went yeah. to Auschwitz, and the Thought guy who was, was talking was like, "Do not forget, they are not Nazis. They yeah. are Germans." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Well, Ster now you're stereotyping me. Yeah. yeah I yeah. wanted to go and punch them for you. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, so, so yeah, so, so, so it's, Chris Pine crash lands in the channel. He's being chased English by channel. some bad Germans from the First World War yeah. because he has secret plans. He and Wonder Woman's like, I'll help you. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And she goes out and helps him try and solve the First World War because she thinks that the god is behind it. <laughs> it was Ares. Oh, okay. The uh, god of war? Hmm. Yeah. They're Greek all, god of war. Yeah, they're all is fake, aren't they? Is it, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, must be because like Zeus is oh, involved, Zeus, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a good job that Chris Pine, Pine crash landed on her beach and not one of the Germans being pursued by, you know, the English or whatever, because she befriended him and fell for his story very quickly. Just very quickly. And it helps actually, that he's a bit dashing, but... I think you can say dim. Uh, that's a Mark Miller thing. Superman, uh, Red, Red, Red Sun or something like that. Superman Red Sun. It's an alternate world where Superman as a baby, crash-landed in communist Russia and became a symbol of them instead of America. Ah, well, there you go. This is this is what I said afterwards. There's only, you know, one, one man's... Free. It's what I said. You can quote me on this. One man's freedom fighter is another man's terrorist. I will quote you on that one, and now I'll ask you what me. the relevance of the film is. What, or what the, how that's relevant to the film. Well, you know, it's open for interpretation, like any good quote. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it? Because she joins uh, Chris Pine, and Chris Pine's enemies are the Germans. But if she just joined the Germans, yeah, I, I suppose, the rest yeah. of the world would have it's been... It's a bit strange that the, also the one person that lands on her beach is an American working for the English. Mm. Could have been yeah. an English person. Could have been in the English Channel. But, you know, Chris Pine was very good. He played Captain Kirk again, which is fine. He does it well. Uh, That's what he does. Yeah, uh, although he didn't play Captain Kirk in uh, Hell or High Water, and he was very good in that as well. He was, mm. to be fair, yeah. So, did you like the film? Yeah. Did you love it? Yeah. I did, actually, yeah. Me too. I did. Reminded um, me of Superman, the movie. Well, that's not good. It should just be on its own kind of merit and on its own, of its own kind of pres presence and, and you know. Yeah, but it can still remind me of other films. It reminded me of Superman, the movie. Yeah, but you should be thinking of Wonder Woman instead of just Superman. I am Superman. thinking of Wonder Woman, but it borrowed from Superman, the movie. It borrowed from a lot of things, Darren. What else it borrowed the from? The First World War. I don't think it borrowed from the First World War. Did you think all those things were real? So are you suggesting you that the really makers of this film are war profiteers? Do you really think that Iron Man turned up at the end and started firing lasers at everybody? Whatever. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Um... Yeah, no, it's got a kind of Superman the movie sort of nostalgic look and an optimism and a sense of romance. And, you know, the first bit on the island is a bit like the first bit on Krypton. And, yes, you know, so it's... And also, they both have shit endings. Uh, in the Superman movie, he flies up and spins the Earth the wrong way. Which is fine, I can buy that, but... What's by... the wrong way? I mean, what's the right way? The way it's going. Well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, which is fine, but then that turns back time. You're like, well, if you can turn back time, then every time you do something wrong, you should do that. No problem. It took a lot of effort for him to do it, though, didn't it? Well, didn't it? Did he crash land and was all tired and stuff? Yeah, probably. Mm. Yeah, but, you know, so. Uh, 
in this film, it just becomes a big old CG smash smashathon, which is a shame because it almost didn't need it because there was a bit where it could oh, have no. ended like right before all that happened. The rest of it was all kind of very kind of physical. I mean, they were yeah. coming down on ropes of arrow, arrow ropes and stuff like that. You know, all the women on the island. You know, oh, at the you beginning. Remember? Yeah, at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. you know, stuff like that. It's all kind of very physical and kind of set in reality. That was a set in reality. Not really, but it was set <laughs> with real kind of things. But Not then, really. <laughs> but then having lasers and magic metal bits coming towards them. Well, don't stuff. spoil anything. But, you know, there's a bit right before that where Chris Pine says that, you know, it's not just about goodies and baddies. Everything's kind of difficult and complicated. Exactly. I thought that would be a good place to end this film. Now she's learned a lesson. Yeah. But no, we have the CG smash. Yeah, on. yeah. The she necessary needs to, CG she smash. She learn some things, doesn't she, about her heri heritage and things. Uh, you don't... Oh, come on. I'm trying the not whole to point do spoilers. Of this film Oh, oh, right, okay. I thought uh, you were just uh, saying like... Yeah, oh, also, by off. saying what you just said then, I don't think you understood what I was saying. No, I'm saying she. Yeah, well, you know, bits. Uh, so, did you like? Did you dislike anything else about the film? Did you dislike anything else? Mm. No, I loved it. It was mm. brilliant. Mm -hmm. I thought it was mm -hmm. really good. It made me cry almost at one point. If there hadn't been other people in the audience, I would have cried. Crying at what point? The bit where she goes across no man's land. Oh yeah, that was pretty, that was really pretty heroic. It was really cool. Yeah, yeah, it, was it was just cool. like this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. And like you kind of worried for her in the middle there, didn't Not you? Not really. Yeah, a little bit. No. A little bit because she was like, oh, struggling, and then she saw her mates, and she was like, ah, right, okay, let's get on it. Yeah, I thought yeah. they were going to. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is not a pl no man's land. Yeah. A woman can cross, but yeah. this is no man's. What, what that takes is one god and five men. The one god wasn't enough. Just the five men to tip it into the balance to get across. It's not funny. Is it? No, 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 no. Like this is the like from pirates. This is the map that no man can read, and this is no man's land. Yeah, I no think man any reference cross. to men in Wonder Woman, whether it be no man's land or you know men start wars, is all is all very intended. Pointed. Pointed. Yeah. Yeah. Not to you know point out the obvious. No, I was just subtext. It's just funny that that's a bit of a theme, to, you know, lately. You know. No, it wasn't. There was no theme to Pirates of the Caribbean. There was no theme. They just said a thing. Yeah, no, there kind of was. Though. It what had the this hell female was the positive, theme of Pirates of the Caribbean? It was this positive female kind of element that Wonder what Woman shares. Well, because she was like a woman scientist and they were saying like, a woman has never used my contraption in years or whatever. You know what I mean? But the less about that. Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh, did, do you know what? I even liked Wonder Woman's theme in this movie. The crap They used theme. it very, very, very minimally. And, and that's well, fine. and that's fine. Yeah, when it was like, eh, wah, wah, wah. Yeah. yeah. Whereas in Man of Steel, it was like literally like player two has entered the ring. Whereas in like, it's like his ringtone was going off when it was just like <laughs> yeah. so out of the blue. Like uh, every time Berlin play in Top Gun, that sounds like someone's <laughs> ringtone is going off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I thought it was brilliant. I like, I forgot it was an action movie until the action kicked mm. in. I was like, oh my god, this action is amazing. That's Why have we not film. been like? I don't mean like the. Beginning stuff, you know, with all the yeah, arrows and yeah, yeah. I mean, like when she's like one on one battering people, yeah, yeah, like yeah. and it's in slow Taking motion, taking people through walls and stuff. Oh, yeah. it was so good. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, and it really did make me think that oh yeah, women have been like massively misrepresented or mis underrepresented in terms of heroes. Yeah, yeah, because in terms of because I thought like oh she's really cool, and then I thought oh I can't dress up as her, that's weird. But that's what women have had to face forever. But it's yeah, you know exactly. it's bad. For, it's it's more socially acceptable for a woman to dress up as a man. So maybe we should just stick it stick to the. Male heroes forever. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that's what you know. That's what the cost is, you know. Yeah. So I can only think of the resolution. three other proper cool female heroes. Can you think of any before I name my three? I I know you're gonna say Ripley from Alien. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah, and Sarah Connor from Terminator and oh, Princess okay. Leia. And yeah, Princess if you're Leia. a little girl, you can't really watch the Terminator or uh, uh, Aliens unless you've got some really fucking cool parents hmm. or irresponsible ones like I did. And um, ignorant ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my like He's one of the fooled. first memories of, I have of watching a film is uh, Misery and the foot snapping. That's terrible, Darren. Uh, well, my parents were watching it and I was in the room and I don't think they thought I was paying any attention, but I watched the whole film. <laughs> um, uh, is another that one fond is memory? Is that a fond memory. It wasn't at the time. It scared the shit out of me. Yeah, of course it did. Of but retrospectively, did. yeah, it probably did. More damage. Set a few. It's, yeah, I think it's certainly responsible for who I am now. Planted a few seeds. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also miserable. Uh, Princess Leia isn't the main <laughs> character in that franchise, uh, and she kissed her own brother. So Wonder Woman mm. really is the only one for little girls right now that is cool. Well, princesses are usually depicted as things to be kind of one. You know what I mean? Like the princess's hand. Yeah, no, know. I'm not saying Princess Leia is not a great character. It's just she's not the main no, I know. character. I know, I know. You know. But I'm just, I'm just, yeah, okay. Mm. Right. So yes, Wonder Woman was phenomenal. Rather, you know, minus the last. 15 minutes or whatever. Yeah, why do they do that? What's with DC I don't doing know. that? Well, I assume this that is the best DC movie in the stupid universe. It is, but it still has the same ending as all the others. 
I don't know when the last one started to end. I just wanted them to end. I, I, in my mind, it was winding down for five minutes. You know, <laughs> Suicide Squad and Batman v Superman. Like, it's got to be going to the end. So, yeah, and then just carry on. Terrible. And then, yeah, oh, God, terrible. Weren't they? terrible. Not even worth mentioning, other than the fact that they've got such a bad track record. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although it does make me want to rewatch Batman v Superman now. Why? Because she's in it. She's in it for like a, a few minutes. I remember she was in it for quite a bit. Was she? Yeah, because I remember thinking like, why isn't she on the title? Batman v Superman and Woman, Woman, Dawn of Justice. It's not much, much more of a mm. stupid title than the one they had. I was expecting like some more of like a cameo, you know. I'm glad they didn't. No, I know, I know it was it's kept yeah. as its own thing, but yeah. that's how it should have been. Yeah, the bit at the end where there is the minor reference. Just like, oh yeah, you're that's part not of a minor that reference. It is a minor reference. It it's is. a very big, obvious reference. Basically, you see some text saying Bruce Wayne. That's oh, it. Oh, oh, right. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I was thinking of the uh, the fact that it, um, an element was a rip off. That bit I thought you were talking about. An element was a rip off. No, yeah. no, 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 no. That's no. not a reference. Do you not? Do you not think that oh, that God, the, up to eleven minutes yeah, almost? You, well, they can watch and listen. Do you not think? <laughs> do you not think that it was a bit too close to home? With what? the reference. We've already been there, and I don't want to make spoilers and stuff like that. But... Are you going to say it's comparisons to Captain America? Well, what do you think? Do I think you're going to say that, or do I agree with you? Both. Uh, yes and no. It is a reference. And I don't agree with you. No, I know that's what you're going to say, and I don't <laughs> right. agree with you. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, First World War is different to the Second World War. The things they do are completely different. There's, she isn't frozen uh... in time like him with a fish out of water thing. There's yeah, a fish but... out of water thing for the First World War, maybe. No, but... but uh, and, yeah, no, it's completely different. It's complete, and the motivations no, but... are completely different. All that you've got is a superhero that's not of our time with a shield. That's the only thing you've got. Yeah, yeah. But then you've got, and then you've got Roger, fl- fl- or Steve. Sorry, not Roger. Oh, Steve, yeah. Steve <laughs> fl- yeah. flying around. Then you've got Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone know who Roger is? <laughs> <laughs> that's not a postcard. Uh, yeah, I... yeah. Then you've got Steve flying away. You know. Uh, well, again, but. That I don't think. Oh, it's a bit close though, isn't it? With all the you know the Germans, all the, no. all the Germans. No. Do you not know reckon? No. Do you not reckon? No. Why not? Why not? The reason we just said it's say... more like Superman than it is Captain America. Nobody would make that connection. Well, I did. Nobody else. Hmm. That's a boring connection to make. Fuck you. Have you even seen Superman the movie? Yes. Have you? A long time ago. Yeah. When it first came out, when you were twenty, probably. Fuck oh, off. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Uh, yeah. Goodbye.